do I make pattern rules? How do I make pattern rules with equations? Hmm. Oh. You see, I used to know all of this stuff when we learned it last week in math class, but now I can't remember and I am so stressed. Oh boy, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? If only I had a way to record my math emotions and my past learnings so that I could reflect and review upon them. Hmm. Mr. Hodge, could you help? <coughs> hey, Philemon. So, boys and girls, I couldn't, um, I was not able to uh, find a video that I liked to talk about this topic, so today you're stuck with me and Philemon. Hey, speak for yourself. All right. <coughs> so, today we're talking about starting a math journal. And to me, a math journal has two parts. First is the social emotional learning um, that we carry through with us the whole year, right? Having confidence, believing in ourselves, uh, the ability to emotionally um, get, uh, not get over, but to be successful in challenges that arise throughout the math curriculum. And so the first goal is to relieve that or alleviate that by thinking through and reflecting upon um, what is happening in math and how it's making us feel. The other component is a reminder and a guide for ourselves of what we learned to be able to obtain it, to use it for later. So it one creates a bank of knowledge for us to review later, but it also helps our brain to categorize and memorize the things that we've learned in one kind of spot in our brain, as well as having the physical, physical spot as well. So here we have what we're gonna start as our math journal. And here is how this is gonna work. You're gonna start with the date. Uh, so let's say today is November 1st. So first, November, you can do short form if you want, 2021. I always want the date on there. We're gonna keep this as a running record or a running journal. Um, so you don't have to click submit on Hapara, but we're gonna keep this as our, our math journal. Now you, you might want to come back to the title later. You can just put title, okay? And then you're going to write all about uh, class. Today, class was very difficult. Luckily, I had Mr. Hodge to help explain things for me. All right, whatever, whatever. I have a I have a feature here that helps me with my grammar and spelling. Things for me. Um, I learned about the divisibility the rule of two. All odd numbers. No, not odd. All even numbers are divisible by two. Okay. Yada, 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 I'm gonna continue on. You're gonna write more than that. But about what's going on in the class, what do you learn? Then I'm gonna go back up and I can fix my title, okay? Um, because I wanna have a title that I can search for if I do curl F, I can find whatever it am, I'm in. So I might put this divisibility rules, all right? And I might talk all about divisibility rules. And I can bold this, make it look pretty. It's my journal. Okay, and as I go, I'm going to be able to just uh, press curl F and find divisibility. Oh, there it is. There's my piece talking all about divisibility and the things that I learned. Okay, um, it also lets me know what are what are my students grasping. Okay, maybe they're missing the point and they're picking up on math, but they're not picking up on the math that I want them to pick up on. And so it can teach me a lot and provide me a lot of insights. It also provides you direct access to be able to say. Um, hey, I am not happy in class, Mr. Hodge, I need my help. And that will give me, if you're too shy to talk in class or maybe you forget, it gives me an opportunity to touch base with you and, and figure things out. So to me, that's what a simple math journal is all about. And that's what we're gonna try uh, as we move forward in math. So enjoy, I hope it helps and good luck.